Hello my people, welcome to this channel again. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on the time you're listening to this news from. This is breaking news. Hey, while I don't share the whole, while I don't happen, Atiku, where they expose Tinumbu, uh, don't open in self show. You cannot imagine what just happened. Tinumbu, that is Atiku that is trying to expose Tinumbu's forged certificate. Now, young wound was passed. See what he tell uh, critics who expose them. Fine, I think we admit say he forged a wire certificate, but he can't invest for these critics. Say why the critics bring them out? People don't know about them. Why he go expose them now? See K two calling uh, Port Black. Hey, hey, hey. don't gas. So, so what will be the next line of action? For Atiku now in court, yo. What in court we can't do to Atiku and Tinubu? Who oh, can become the president? This prophet don't talk him. Before election, the prophet after election, before swearing in Tinubu, the prophet don't talk and say neither Tinubu or Atiku or even Pitaobi will become president. He mentioned the person's name, but I don't go tell now the name. But let's just, let's go into to this news. That, that that will not be waiting. We can't talk here. More going to to this news about Atiku now. In fire result certificate done, they exposed though the the yeah yeah say in for jam. Hey, thank God for the these critics we expose Atiku for good. Hmm. Let's go into the today's content. Let's know what the content is all about. This is breaking news. Big Wahala Atiku Abubakar speaks on forging his YX certificates, blasting uh, blast critics who brought it up. Atiku Abubakar, the People's Democratic Party's PDP nominee for president, discussed the error of his senior school certificate examination, that's SSCE, transcript on Tuesday. Dele Momodu, a former vice president's advisor, clarified the situation in a post on X that's the for, for, for Mali known as Twitter. Following accusations of forgery made against Atiku by members of the All Progressive Congress APC, Momodu claimed that the clarification was required. In contrast to his other credentials, he pointed out that some members of the ruling party had questioned the name Sadiq Abubakar on Atiku's YX certificate. Muhammad claimed that the former vice president received the charges and responded with an examination for the inconsistency. See what he wrote on the Twitter page. He wrote, The APC busybodies have been bombarding me with allegations of forgery against my principal, Alhaji Abubakar, which I immediately forwarded to him. And here is his copious response. Yes, I used Sadiq Abubakar to sit for my wahek and after passing my exams, I went to swear an affidavit to say I am the same person or uh, as Atiku Abubakar. I went to ABU as Atiku Abubakar and passed my exams as Atiku Abubakar. Interviewed as Atiku Abubakar by the Federal Council Service Commission and I had into the custom service as Abubakar Atiku. So, where is forgery there? Abubakar claims. Can the APC social media bullies forward the deluge of questions in calculation to their boss and get instant and direct response? I salute Abubakar Atiku. My option, he who lives in a glass house should not 
drew a stone. Atiku popularized saga of Tinumbu's certificate and also assumes that he forged his CSU certificate. Now he has to answer. He has to answer questions on his Wayek result too. What goes around definitely comes around. So you see, as I said before, what goes around definitely comes around. Ketu calling pot black. Can you imagine? When you're living in a glass house, don't throw stones. I'm not saying that I'm not supporting Tinumbu. But Atiku shouldn't have boldly come out to, to expose Tinumbu when he knows that he also is not clean. He is also guilty. Okay, now this issue is out. The issue of his Wayek result is out. Now he'll be talking about he will, I'm, I'm very much sure that he will he, he will definitely relax himself concerning Tinubu certificates now. Because if he says anything further about Tinubu certificate, then he will be fired. Look at now, he's defending himself. He said yes, that he he, he sat during his Wayek, he sat as another name. And now his son Afidavix now is bearing Atiku Abubaka. That was what he said. Then he was bearing a different name, Sir Sadiq Abubaka. So his son Afidavix. So he's trying to say that they, he sat for that Wayek exam, not no other person but him. But he only used that name because then he was younger than now. Now his son and Afidavix. What is the truth? Is that is he saying the truth? So viewers, listeners, what do you think? What do you think of this? What is your take on this? Please don't hesitate to drop your comment below the comment box. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell button. Each